Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Today we are back at the park, and if you're familiar with my channel, you know what that means. We are gonna be talking about a brand new cane. And this time we are talking about the long-awaited and highly anticipated We Walk Smart Cane version two. This is the successor to the very popular WeWalk Smart Cane, and this version brings a ton of improvements over its predecessor. In fact, this is clearly a situation where the company listened to the feedback, took it to heart, and improved on every single thing. Obviously, the first thing you're gonna notice is the brand new design. One of the biggest criticisms of the original WeWalk Smart Cane was the big bulky handle. I may be guilty of once in a while referring to it as a dust buster on a cane because <laughs> that's what it reminded me of. But now we have this new design and WeWalk has improved everything about the cane. The handle looks and feels like a regular cane handle. It's a slimmer design and much more lightweight. The WeWalk cane is now about 40% lighter than the previous version. They went from about 252 grams to now about 195 grams. So this is definitely going to improve the performance of the cane and you're not gonna get tired using the cane for long periods of time. Next, we have a new improved speaker on the WeWalk cane. This was another one of my criticisms from its predecessor is that the speaker wasn't quite loud enough. But now, right here at the end of the grip, you have a giant Harman Kardon developed speaker that should provide extremely loud and clear audio in a wide variety of situations. Next, one of my favorite changes that they've made to the version two Smart Cane is physical buttons. If you guys have watched my channel, you know that I always prefer physical buttons over any type of touch panel or capacitive buttons. In the BVI community, we touch everything. We're very tactile. So it just makes sense to have physical buttons. This is gonna make it much easier to reliably control the cane while on the move. Speaking of changes to the controls, we also have an improved obstacle detection sensor. This is going to give you much more reliable results. And it also has an audio warning system, very similar to the alert you'll get from a car when it's backing up and it gets too close to something. Then we also have a new flashlight on the cane. This will help a little bit in low light situations, help you see things in front of you. There does tend to be a little bit of a glare at night when you have the flashlight on, but more importantly, this is going to definitely make you more visible to people and traffic around you. We also have a new charging port. Now we are using USB type C for the charging. There's also a microphone on the back and that is for one of the newest features of the WeWalk Smart Cane version two. And that is the ChatGPT AI integration. Yes, your cane will have an AI assistant that you'll be able to interact with and get whatever information you're gonna need in the moment. So it is a yucky day out today. I would not normally be out here. Rainy, wet, cold, miserable. But I'm out here to talk about another new feature of the brand new WeWalk Smart Cane version two. And that is that it is now waterproof. All right, I mean, not, not waterproof. You don't go swimming with it, but it is rain resistant. That means that if you do have to go out on a cold, rainy day, you can do it with confidence knowing that your version two smart cane is going to perform in those conditions, no problem, and be reliable. Okay, let's talk about how the WeWalk cane detects obstacles in front of you. Well, first and foremost, the cane is just a regular cane. So it can detect obstacles waist level and below just like any regular cane does. But what makes it unique is the ability to detect obstacles waist level and above. So this is a problem you might run into with something like this. This playground equipment has a big open space underneath it. So as I walk up to it, my cane goes right under it, not telling me there's anything in front of me until bam, <laughs> I run right into it. So this is where the WeWalk cane and its obstacle detection is gonna come in handy because it's going to alert me that there's something in front of me before I run right into it. Now to turn on the obstacle detection, we use these physical buttons on the side of the cane and we can choose between three different distances. 
Short. Short. Mid. Mid. Far. Far. So you can choose how quickly you want to be alerted by the obstacle. Now that I've set it to mid, as I start to walk up towards this obstacle here and my cane goes under it, I'm already being alerted that there's something in front of me. And as I get closer, the beeping gets faster, indicating that I'm getting closer to the object. I'll show you again. And that, my friends, is how obstacle detection works with the WeWalk cane. Now, I was showing you with the audio alert, but you can also turn on vibrations if you don't want that beeping. In that situation, the cane will vibrate, indicating that there's something in front of you. Well, it looks like we got yet another snowstorm last night, so we're not gonna be going out today. Let's jump back into the studio and we'll talk about using the WeWalk app with the new WeWalk Smart Cane version two. So if we have the app running on the phone and we turn on the Smart Cane by long pressing the power button, we'll hear this boot up. There we go. And now after a couple seconds, the cane will automatically connect to the phone. Oh. Connected. There we go. So our cane is paired up with the, the app and it's connected and everybody's working well together. <laughs> At the very top, it shows your current location. My current location. Save location button. Share my location button. Then you have the option to save that location or to share your location. If you want to save the location, it makes it much easier to find that in the future. For example, you go to a restaurant and it's like amazing and, and you're like, okay, I wanna be able to find this again in the future. You can just save your current location at that time. My locations. Then we have my locations. This is your list of saved locations. Navigation. Navigation, that's just turn by turn navigation. Public transportation. Public transportation, that's going to be lists of buses, trains, if it's available in your area. Explore. And explore. This is just kind of like you want to see what's around you, what's in your area. You can check out Explore. And let's do that real quick. Explore. All. Button. When you open up the Explore page here, we have a list of different categories. Arts and entertainment. Food and cafe. Professional and others. Shops and services. Just depends on what you're looking for. Professional food and cafes. Let's check out Button. food and cafes. Food and cafes. So this brings up a list of the places nearest to me and it gives information about it. It gives directions. It gives the distance. Places. Taco John's, 3,690 feet, six o'clock. If I double tap on one of these items, I get some different options. Taco John's, 3,700 feet. So it tells me how far away it is and what direction. In this case, it's behind me, which let me get my bearings. Yeah, actually it is. It is back that way. <laughs> go there, button. You can go there. Save location, button. You can save location. Go there, button. If I hit go there. From your current location, button. Two, Taco John's, button. Walking, 41 minutes. Navigate, heading. 1,690 feet away at six o'clock. Head your six o'clock on so now we start to get the turn-by-turn -turn navigation instructions from the cane. Turn right, two o'clock. So this works as most any other turn-by-turn -turn navigation GPS app, where it will give you directions, walking directions to your destination. The only thing is that when it's all paired up with the cane, the audio comes through the cane speaker. One thing to note is that because you have these physical buttons on the cane, you can control your app from the cane. My places. Close. Button. Transport. Explore. So I'm just using the buttons on the cane All. to go through the different options. Pubs and clubs. Pubs and clubs. Let's see what pubs and clubs are near me. <laughs> Jake's Cigar Bar and Lounge, 0 0.84 mile. Okay, I'm gonna choose that one. Go there. So now I have the option to go there. If I click OK. Close. Jake's Cigar Button. Bar and Lounge, 0 0.84 mile. Rota 1 walking, 40 minutes. I can 
initiate those turn-by-turn navigation instructions right from the cane without ever even needing to take the phone out of my pocket. So that's pretty handy that you can pretty much access all the elements of the app, all the benefits of having your app connected to your cane. You can access all of that through the physical buttons on the cane. Remember, to unlock all the features, it's important to connect your cane to the WeWalk app for initial activation. All right, last thing I wanna talk about is the integration of ChatGPT on the WeWalk Cane version two. This of course is a brand new feature and is going to bring a lot of functionality to the Cane. Of course, you will have to have the Cane connected to the WeWalk app for this to work. But if you are connected, then you can trigger your voice commands by long pressing the circle button on the side of the Cane. And it works kind of like a walkie talkie where you have to hold the button down while you talk. But doing this allows you to ask all types of questions. It is AI, so it's super powerful on what kind of information it can bring back to you. So I'm gonna press and hold the button. I'll hear a little sound effect letting me know that it's listening, and then I'll give my command and then release the button. Find the nearest McDonald's. I found 35 addresses. <laughs> I will sort it based on distance, starting with the nearest location. Okay, so a lot of McDonald's in this area, I guess. So the cane is sorting that by distance, and now I can use the arrow keys to navigate through those to pick the one that I want. Oh yeah, the sun's out. Oh, warm me up. <laughs> it's cold out here. I swear there was nobody out here until I started recording. Now all of a sudden it's like rush hour. Once you're at your destination, you can use the AI to answer questions about that location. What kind of chocolate drinks do they have at Starbucks? Here is what I found for what kind of chocolate drinks do they have at Starbucks. Starbucks offers a variety of chocolate drinks on their menu. Some popular chocolate beverages at Starbucks include 1. Hot chocolate, a classic favorite made with steamed milk, mocha sauce, and topped with whipped cream. Point two. Now, as far as how helpful this AI integration is going to be for you, it really comes down to your imagination and how you choose to use it, as long as you use it for good. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it for this review of the WeWalk Smart Cane version two. Overwhelmingly, I think this is a vast upgrade over the previous version of the WeWalk Smart Cane. As I said at the beginning, I think they've improved everything that people had issues with with that first version and all the upgrades and all the new things have been done very well. You've got this new sensor that is a much tighter cone of uh, detection, I guess you could say. So it's gonna be more accurate to things that are right in front of you and it's not necessarily gonna pick up stuff on the side that you don't really care about. This is also gonna be great for detecting doorways. It's gonna be much more accurate for that. The flashlight is much brighter. Now, as I said before, you do have to deal with the glare, especially late at night. It's gonna be pretty bright as the, when the flashlight's turned on, but for making you more visible to the outside world, it's fantastic. The speaker is great. Brand new, much louder speaker in the perfect position, really, facing straight up at you. It honestly couldn't be in a better position. And of course, just the ergonomics of the new cane, the new design, the slim handle, the physical buttons, this is all fantastic. Even the addition of the Pathfinder 360 tip from Ambutech. This comes on the cane. When you buy the cane, you get one of these tips, which is fantastic. Something else that's super cool is that the canes receive remote updates. This allows the developers to improve the cane's performance and even add new software features. Even the strap here, it's the same kind of strap, wrist strap that they had on the previous model, but we have a new uh, clamp here to clamp it down so you can make the little loop at the end so that when the cane folds up, and it is a folding cane, a five section folding cane, you can use that little loop to hold it closed, just like a regular cane. So once again, Congratulations to WeWalk. They have improved this tremendously and it's a pretty good product. And on that note, if you would like to get more information about the WeWalk Smart Cane version two, I will have contact information in the video description down below. This is going to be sold through distributors. You can buy it on the website, but you can also get it through distributors. 
So if you have a favorite distributor in your area, reach out to them and see if they are gonna be carrying this product. Huge thank you to WeWalk for sending out this cane for me to make this video for you guys. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. And of course, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and turn on those post notifications so you'll be alerted every time I put out a new video or any time I go live. New videos out every single Saturday at 10 a.m. But that is it, guys. Same with the blind life. I will see you next time. I gotta get my camera. <laughs> Come on, you're coming with me.